Good afternoon. Welcome, everybody. Are we on? Yep, you're on. Thank you for coming out and supporting us this year. And thank you for attending our little award ceremony. This is our sixth consecutive year. This is our sixth consecutive year. Thank you for coming out again. This is our sixth consecutive year of running what we think is a very successful tournament. Once again, we have been privileged to witness some amazing scoring and some terrific progress of girls' golf. It has really been fun to work the tournament this year. And I thank all of my com committees, especially our, our volunteers and, and, and our sponsors. And with that, I, I cannot go further without recognizing our presenting sponsors, Mike Schlockman from the Kroger Company. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thanks for being here this year, too. Thanks very much. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Much. Happy to do it. Yep. Thank you, Mike. And also Quentin Massey from the uh, Reynolds Consumer story. Products. His, his wife said you better get home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a, there's, a, there's a real bonus. She did. <laughs> I would like to publicly thank also some of my committee members who have really done a yeoman's job this year. Ellen Cleves is our director of hospitality. And she provided a hostess for all the teams. Uh, Jill Levesque did an amazing job getting these fantastic beach houses for all the teams and, and the girls. <laughs> Joe Kraft had a team of 40 scores. And the ladies really braved it out for us this year on yesterday, and I would just thank you so much for that help. Uh, before I go on uh, any further, I would also like to recognize Ashley Davis. What a superior job on magnificent course conditions that we had this year. <laughs> of course, last but not least, Bob Patton and his staff, and the n numerous hours they put in to help this event. All right, I am now going to I'd also like to say the person who puts the most time and effort in this whole tournament is Lindsay Finger, our Director of Marketing and Communication. Right. She coordinates the whole event. All right, I would now like to turn the microphone over to our tournament host, Buggy Blackman. Thank you again, everybody. Right, every year, uh, we're standing out here, and I keep saying it can't get any better than this one, but this one was better than the last one. And I don't know, it's incredible the amount of work and effort and detail um, that has gone into this tournament. And I don't care. I think it's one of the best golf tournaments from start to finish of all tournaments at all levels. I've, I've spent a lot of time on the PGA Tour, the LPGA, and I just don't see them any better than this. But again, I want to thank all the members and the volunteers, the, the multitude of people that, that put time and effort into this tournament, and uh, we certainly appreciate it on behalf of all the teams. Thank you. I would also like to, to, to also mention that this event this year was uh, dedicated to a very special lady, um, Miss Judy Oppenheimer, and uh, if you noticed, all the players and coaches today were wearing the ribbons uh, in her honor and loving memory. And uh, I think Judy had something to do with the weather here because this is the best weather we've ever had. So Opie, you come up, and Opie is the man. Opie, again, I made the comment in the uh, sponsors party the other night that if our government ever got serious about balancing the budget, they would hire Opie because he can raise some money. Thank you. I, do, I just want to thank everybody. The, uh, the ribbons today were over the top. Uh, it was a great memory of Judy. 
Uh, my kids, both kids, one was here earlier in the tournament, but they know all about this and they thank everybody involved in this tournament for honoring Judy. Thank you so much. We had a great, great week in the weather. That's what happens. <laughs> Last but not least, I'd like to, to make a presentation to the, this man has been incredible for this golf tournament. He has pulled it together. He has organized it to the nth degree. He spent countless, countless hours in, in pulling it all together. He's, I don't know, I guess he's had a lot of experience. I guess he was over the uh, PGA Tour event in Michigan for quite some time, but I'd like to recognize Mr. Rob Ryan, our tournament director. Thank you, Rob. And on behalf of the University of South Carolina, again, I would like to thank Long Cove, the membership, the staff, um, for an incredible week. We were very privileged to, to be a part of this venture, and uh, we look forward to it again next year. Thank you. Thank you, Puggy. And we have a lot of thanks to give to uh, Puggy and Kalen as well. They are a big part of this event as the host coaches, and uh, they're our go-to people for making decisions. And we've always said that we want to try to have an event that the players and coaches would like to have. If you could design an event, that's what we want to do. So we're open to suggestion. If any of you coaches have anything to share with us to make this a better event, please let us know because uh, we'll do our best to continue to try to make it better. I, um, I'm continually amazed at quality of play, and uh, it's, it's just wonderful to watch the girls and the interaction with the coaches. It's just a lot of fun. We enjoy it. And so uh, one of the things that makes this a great event are the coaches and the teams and the quality of the field that we manage to get every year. So to all of you coaches and players, thank you very much for being a part of our event. We really do appreciate it. It makes it a great event. I would like to thank, too, uh, my rules team. Mike Murphy is our chief rules official, and uh, we've got we have rules officials out here at the crack of dawn every day and all day making uh, rules decisions and trying to make sure that we do the right thing for a fair competition. So I don't know if Mike's around here anywhere, but Mike, thank you. Uh, Mary is back there. Mike, thank you very much. Thank you and Marcia and all the rules officials. Thank God. Uh, we have, I'm, I'm doubling up here a little bit, but I gotta thank Rob Ciapana and Chef Ramsey for all the food. I've had about 15 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in the last few days, and so thank you for that. Um, we've already talked about Ashley. Where is Ashley? <laughs> Ashley, come up here for a second. He hates this. He's never around when we thank him, so for once, I just want to say, this guy is the best. He provided the greatest golf course for you out there today. And Ashley, thank you very much. I don't want to thank him. I never get to embarrass him like that. Um, to the volunteers, we have something like 100 member volunteers working in shuttles and scoring and hostesses and you name it, just anything that we can think of. And they really make this event work. Uh, they support the event. And again, to all of you out there who've given your time, we really appreciate it. Thank you for making this tournament the best tournament in college golf. It's the volunteers. And I guess we should thank Dar Darius Rucker. I mean, that was a nice little event the other night that he put on for us. So, uh, He's not here, he's in Europe at this point. But uh, nice to have Darius, that's a nice little feature of our event, so thank you, Darius. I have to have notes, I have too much. Um, on to the important stuff. Um, in the competition for the individual title this year, uh, I think you'll all agree the golf course was very difficult. Conditions were difficult yesterday. We had some tough hole locations. The greens were great, but challenging. 
And our champion this year broke the individual 54 hole tournament record with rounds of 68, 72, 65, which also ties the low round, the low 18 hole score um, for an eight under par total and a seven shot victory. She is our defending champion and she's only a sophomore so we get to see her for a couple more years. <laughs> So uh, congratulations to our champion, Cheyenne Knight of Alabama. title um, as I said before we, we, we always have a strong field with a number of the top 10 top 20 teams in the nation and uh, I think it's one of the things again that makes the event great but I have to say uh, it seems to have become the Duke and Alabama show <laughs> um, these two teams have played extraordinarily well here in the six-year history of the event um, it came right down to the two of them today. Um, it was back and forth, but uh, in the end, Duke fell a little short, but I do want to recognize our runner-up team uh, and two-time champions, Dan Brooks and the Duke Blue Devils. Great play. And our champions for 2017, with a team total of seven over par, 859, and a two-shot victory for their fourth guitar. I told you I should have, uh, drums maybe next time, I don't know. But for their fourth championship, Mick Potter and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Thanks a lot. 
fantastic tournament. Thanks for everything you do. Um, congratulations to Cheyenne, uh, Duke, and ASU. We played together all three days, and it was, it was great fun, great competition. Bob Patton, uh, one of the, the great golf professionals I know in the uh, Carolina section. I spent a lot of time in the Carolina section. Um, they don't come any better than Bob and Ashley Davis. Great job. This is uh, an unbelievable uh, venue. And play well here or you can play. And it was in great shape. And most of all, our host family, Bill and Corinne Broad, obviously. And I don't want to offend any other host families, but you know, we have four guitars and they've been our host family. <laughs> Thanks for having us. You know, one of the mo things I miss about South Carolina is Hilton Head. It's always great to be back here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us this afternoon. We look forward to doing this again in 2018. Thank you very much.